Hi, welcome back everybody. Uh, Ashur Steve here, signing to another tutorial. So today we will be uh, seeing together how we can create the database in my SQL command line. So without much further ado, let's kick it. So let's go and open our my SQL command prompt and as you can see on the screen that is appearing so now in order to log in i have to create password which i've already created before so i have enter and now you can see that my sql is ready my sql has been already been installed and now we are ready to go so we can create a database and our from this command line so let's go and see whether there is a database or not so to see the database whether database is there in our system or not so to see that we have to use the command called show databases Let's enter now you can see that there are a lot of databases which is already created so now uh, we want to create our own database so in order to create our own database we have to use the command called create database and the database name so let's say um, net tech okay so net tech is the company we've created so let's say enter so now you can see so let's see again our net tech is there or not so show databases so net tech let's see our net tech is here yeah so it's created here Okay, so net tag is our database name. So now we will tell the database to use our net tag. Otherwise, database will not understand the following. There are so many databases, so they will get confused where to create. So we have to use the command called use net tag. Enter, and I can see that net tag. Uh, we have to create uh, in the net tag table. So let's create create table. Okay, we can call this uh, records create table record. So let's add the, uh, this one here ID. So ID is integer type, and then we will create uh, name. So the name is Varkar. And the worker will just give us a name as uh, 20. Okay, its values. Then uh, we have uh, address. Address also, it's a worker type. So, address will let's give 50. Okay, so phone. We can give phone. Okay, so now our rows has been affected and now one row is affected as you can see it's already created. So now let's uh, show we want to see the table so show table. Okay, so now you can see our table has been created. So now we want to see the details of the table. So to do that you have to use the command called describe you can write in full or but you can also write the uh, C that's enough so table name is records and that. So, so now you can see as we have already created before this ID name address phone number so everything is already there now and as you can see now there are no primary keys available in this particular uh, field so how do we add this primary key so let's give a primary key to this uh, id so if you want to uh, make some changes so there's a command called alter alter table then table name records add primary will be the key so ID so I put ID there 
so we want to put in the uh, primary key in the id as right now there is no uh, key primary key in the id so let's give enter so now i can see it's affected so once more we'll describe uh, records enter now you can see in the id the primary key is already added as of now okay so uh suppose for example that you want to drop any line from here so that also can be done so let's say we want to drop this phone number and the command called alter table uh, records number okay. so now it's affected so we have dropped this phone number so let's check again uh, this right records enter see now phone number has been dropped okay so now uh, let's start adding our um, values into the table so uh, insert let's have a call the insert insert into record and then this is your table name records uh, values so we have to put values now id will be like 101 like that and the name name will give us uh, uh, okay john we will give john name there and then to address we will give us a uh, user okay all right so now let's close that enter so now once row has been affected let's put uh, uh, another one uh, so let's say insert now we will change this uh, number two and then uh, instead of this we will just give as lily and this time this is from Two rows we have added. So now we want to see this. Uh, so let's uh, use the command called select, then star from and the records table name records. Okay. Enter. So now as you can see that our table has been created. So ID. This is the ID, and this is the name. So two names we have added. So if you want to add rules of rows again, so you can also add once again. So insert and then you can go with the following like this tree and this person name. At this time you can give us uh, person has been added this okay so now we want to uh, change this uh, person name so what to do there's a command called update so update and our table name is records update records set name so we're going to change the name so this is a uh, so we have to put in a quote so new name you want to change to let's say uh, Matthew. Okay. So Matthew. Then to where? We have to give this uh, where? We're going to change this with the ID one zero four equal to one zero four. Okay. So, okay. So now what row has been affected? Uh, look has been changed into Matthew. So let's say again. So you see, you can see that Matthew has replaced the Luke. 
so this is how you can change or you can also my SQL command prompt is uh, you find uh, more easier and as you can see direct reflections from this so guys um, I hope this video has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you and thank you for always supporting it and uh, liking and uh, keep tuning to the channel so that you will get new new updates because every Saturday Sunday like I give new updates so thank you so much for always being supportive and I'll see you in the next video thank you and bye bye